With road safety for cyclists finally getting the attention it deserves. And now to the weather. Breezy with a chance of mushroom clouds. But now back to cycle paths. It's all kicking off, isn't it, Tim? All, all these cartoon characters threatening to blow up the world. Donald Trump versus Kim, uh, whichever, whichever one it is, they're all the bloody same. It's, no, 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 no. Tim is not racist. That's not, that's not what I meant. The, the current president is technically Kim Il-sung, even though he died in 1994. And the government's general secretary is Kim Il-sung's son, Kim Jong-il, who died in 2011. But don't worry, he's still the general secretary, even though he's dead. And the supreme leader is Kim Jong-un, son of Kim Jong-il and grandson of Kim Il-sung. So excuse me if I get my Kims mixed up. Yeah, my, my point is, we see Trump and Kim as the same characters, children's characters, you know, orange bob shit pants versus an evil piece of Lego. Kim Jong-un, oh yeah, the, the one with the perfectly spherical head and the cheeky grin, yeah? Oh, he, his dad was in Team America, wasn't he? Yeah, looks like an emoji, but one you'd send your ex-girlfriend if you were about to have her executed. A bit like Kim Jong-un actually did, allegedly. There is nothing funny about North Korea, you know, actually, actually there is. North Koreans, get this, North Koreans are told Kim Jong-il invented the hamburger, that he controlled the weather, and that he never went to the toilet. Never took a shit. What, why would you even make that up? Also, he was apparently an international fashion icon. Yeah, the guy in the grey zip-up tunic and the oversized glasses. Apparently, it's super fashionable these days to dress like a recently divorced lesbian on a budget. And, th and they believe all this because if they don't, they, along with their family, are likely to be tortured and killed. It's fucking hilarious. Their head of state is a dead god. They are tortured or killed if they speak their mind. And, and when you, you have to continually express your gratitude for the famine you're enduring at the hands of your supreme leader, it's pretty easy to believe that two plus two equals five. If, the, if, there's a, if there's a more oppressive regime on the planet, then, you know, so, so what, do you do? what do you do? We all know in politics, if in doubt, start a fucking war. Well, there's a lot of doubt in Washington right now. So if you need people on side, who are you going to start a war with? A fucking lunatic. That's who. It might be unconsidered and very dangerous, but there's a warped logic to it. You know, I, I can't see anyone launching a nuke anytime soon. But right now, I wouldn't want to bet my dog on it, you know. If, if Trump is seriously considering taking him on, he'd better know what he's doing. Which, which of course, is where this whole thing falls down. Because it's, well, you've, you've got on one side, you have a sociopathic, inexperienced, Orwellian nightmare of demagoguery with his hand on a red button. And on the other, you've got Kim Jong-un. Thanks, Katie. Earlier today, I interviewed ex-EastEnders star and cycling path advocate, Carol Hepworth.